I'm Connie, I'm 60 years old. I'm a retired civil servant and it suffered severe back pain for quite a while. I'd had uh, fusion surgery done 11, 12 years ago and uh, was doing fine and one day I was vacuuming and boom, my back just kinda, it, I can't even describe the pain. And I immediately had to, I mean, I laid on the ground, I tried to push it, I tried to do every little thing that I could to make it go away and nothing. I mean, it was excruciating. It affected my life in that I'm a very social person. I'm a very family-oriented person. I'm a touchy person. I couldn't hold my grandbabies. I couldn't do anything. I mean, I couldn't even get my cats. I couldn't feed my animals. I couldn't cook my meals. I, mostly my family because I was so cranky and so just, and I didn't want them to see me like that. And I don't know, I just, Everything that I needed to do in my life could not be done. I tried PT, uh, I tried yoga moves where you pull and stretch, just little, nothing relieved it. I was at my wit's end about what to do about it and I sought out Dr. Boer and he made my life incredible. My name's Grant Boer. I'm with Longhorn Brain and Spine. I am a neurosurgeon who specializes in minimally invasive spine surgery and we're here today to talk about the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint, or the SI joint, is actually one of the larger joints in the body. Some of the typical patients that I see with SI joint pathology are patients who've had a fall, landed on their backside, patients who've been in car accidents, patients who've just been, lived a strenuous lifestyle, you know, they've really worked themselves and, uh, you know, have chronic low back pain because of this, um, or patients who have had a previous fusion. I can't tell you how many times I see patients that come in that have told me, hey, I've seen three or four neurosurgeons or orthopedic spine surgeons, and I just kind of get brushed aside. And, you know, I've basically just been told, hey, you've already had a fusion. Uh, when I'm looking at your MRI of the lumbar spine or your low back, I just don't see anything. I don't think you have any sort of problem. When in reality, the SI joint could be the source of the pain. You know, I think a lot of the times as clinicians, we wanna be able to look at an MRI and just say, right there, I see the problem on that MRI. I, I know exactly what I'm looking for based on that, but that's not usually the case with the SI joint. You actually have to put your hands on the patient. If they've already had a fusion or they, you know, I, I listen to their story and they tell me kind of some of the signs and symptoms that they're having and I think it matches up with, uh, with SI joint pathology, I get them up on my table and I go through all the different maneuvers to test for uh, SI joint disorder. And if they meet any of those criteria, um, I usually try and work my way up. I like to start with physical therapy. After physical therapy, um, I typically go to injections. Uh, diagnostic and therapeutic injections. If the injections are not long lasting or the patient's not feeling better after that, at that point we, we talk and we consider surgery. When it comes time to decide about surgery and uh, what, the, what the right path is and how to do this surgery, um, first and foremost I always think about the least disruptive, the, the most minimally invasive approach. And uh, that's what iFuse allows me to do. The biggest advantage of the triangular shaped iFuse implant is that it really helps promote bone growth. And you, I can be confident that I'm getting that fusion across the joint, which is the whole goal of the surgery. I'd never heard of the SI joint. And then I looked it up, I took the leaflet, I watched the procedures, I saw how minimal it was, and I was ready. As far as recovery, I, I'm telling you, by the time I saw Dr. Boer, I was climbing my stairs again, albeit a little slower because I needed to make sure I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get a hitch in my giddy up again or whatever, but uh, I just took things slow and nothing hurt. Uh, I, I could get in and out of my bed and my bed's a tall bed. Bend over, hold my grandbabies. I could play pool, wash my dishes, cook supper. Uh, everything. I mean, I got everything back. A lady friend of mine in Mississippi was having some problems with her back, and I described to her mine, and she goes, oh my God, Connie, that's exactly what's wrong with me. So she went back to her doctor, and he, he tested her, and within like four months, she too had the surgery in Mississippi. Well, IFUSE gave me my life back, and I would scream it from a mountaintop. I would, 
I'm such a believer. If you've experienced any signs or symptoms similar to what you've seen in this video today, I would love to see you in my office. Just reach out to me at 682-33-SPINE.